spent a huge chunk of his teenage years behind bars, has found a new life outside of prison as the founder and leader of a theater group for young children. And as we continue to celebrate Black History Month, entertainment reporter Sandy Kennedy spent some time with the group and learned how it is making an impact. Sandy. Dave, Liz, it's a theater group and so much more. The guy who started it likes to say his life has been one of rebellion and reinvention. Jamal Joseph grew up in the Bronx on track to go to college when he found himself behind bars instead. Today, he's a college professor and an inspiration to the young people of Harlem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Throughout his life as a teacher, activist, and ex-con, Jamal Joseph has been seeking the answers to one question. How does one transform pain to power? In Harlem, he has made an impact, starting a theater group by that name. Impact teaches you how to be a better person and how to use the arts to change the community around you. Their leader was a member of the Black Panthers at the age of 15 and a prisoner at Rikers Island by 16, followed by five plus years at Leavenworth. There's an amazing quote by Malcolm X that says, uh, the penitentiary has been the university for many a black man. Behind bars, Joseph earned his GED and two college degrees, while also writing a play. When I came out of prison, I decided to use arts and activism to promote social change and transformation. The mentor's message is made even more powerful by his experience. We affectionately call him Uncle Jamal because he really is a, like our uncle. He's a great support system. From Jamal, I've learned to keep moving forward and to never stop your grind, no matter what people say to you. His efforts have earned him respect way beyond his community, most recently in San Francisco, where Joseph picked up a purpose prize from a group called Encore, in recognition of his Encore. Using arts in a way that inspires kids to make a difference, not just when they're on stage, but when they're moving through the stage of life. I'm today. I'm free. The Purpose Prize he won is given to those people who take on society's biggest challenges at a time of life when many others are thinking about retiring. Who better to win than Jamal Joseph, who is always thinking of new ways to give back to his community? Dave wow. Liz? What a remarkable yeah. man. Cool. Just fantastic and a, an incredible program, it seems like. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks, Sandy. And so